Hi there. Welcome back to Marketing Mondays. Apologies we missed last week. Uh, we had a challenge with getting the right approvals out in time for Marketing Mondays. They, uh, so we had to pull the piece of content actually. Maybe another story and another opportunity for us to uh, talk about the approvals process here at Anaplan. But today we wanted to talk about uh, marketing content attribution. Uh, it's a, a follow-on session from our previous week's post about uh, measuring the performance of marketing content. And, and so today we're going to follow on from that presentation. And here on the vertical axis, we can see how much it costs us to acquire content. And on the horizontal axis, how much we're spending on content promotion. And you can see where we've placed uh, some of these types of content in terms of uh, how much we're spending. And so if we look at uh, that spend and now associate some performance measures to it, we can see that we're looking at an ROI measure. And the way that you measure the ROI may differ, but what, what is important is that you measure the ROI of uh, content itself and not just the activities to promote the content. Uh, really, the content is the thing that actually performs and, and how you leverage that content is, is, is what performs well. So don't just look at the content types. Don't just look at the, the channels that you're sending them through. Obviously, they're important metrics, but also you should understand how well each piece of content itself is performing. One case study may perform better than another. Uh, one thought leadership report may perform better than another for whatever reason. And uh, it's really important that we track that at an individual content level as well. So if you're not doing that, I, I would certainly recommend starting. So as we look at this ROI, let's start with a couple of easy examples. So firstly, we've already said that uh, our high performing internal content is high performing. So as I scale that out and we look at the ROI, it remains green and stays at 200%. And our internally developed collateral, well, that's actually at 150% roughly. And um, the reason for that may be because it's so, uh, so cheap for us to acquire and we're not spending a huge amount on promotion. So, you know, that's looking okay. If we look at our case studies, great, you know, evergreen content that typically performs well across our, uh, across our, our customer's journey. So that's looking good at, at 200%. We should keep doing those types of activities. Uh, and then if we look at our thought leadership report, we're not getting as much ROI as we would like. So maybe this is an opportunity. It's still performing well. It's still at 100% ROI. But this is where you might look at that thought leadership report and say, well, how can I repurpose that? What can I do differently with that? Can I turn some of the content inside that report into an if infographic? Can I break it up? Can I start blogging about it? Can I do other things to enhance that report and try and get more use out of it? Uh, we, you would also then look at how old is that thought leadership report? Is it maybe time to retire it? I would suggest not because you're only at 100% ROI. You'd want to get more value from that report than you already have, especially given how much you've invested in terms of you know, actually paying for it and then promoting it. Um, so maybe it's time to look at that report and do some different things. And then if we look at our paid for blogs, they're not performing so well. Um, maybe it's the way that we're measuring our blog. Uh, maybe it's uh, people aren't viewing our blog. So maybe we need to look at the actual promotion of the blog itself. Potentially, it, it's time to change the blog writer. Uh, maybe we do something internally so we can reduce the cost, uh, so we can maybe bring it down to uh, a lower area in terms of the content acquisition, and that might bring the ROI up and make us uh, satisfied. That's a decision that we would need to make uh, internally based on you know, resource availability and, and who can actually write the blogs. But you know, from that message, uh, it's not working and we need to change something up. So that's just a helpful way for you to look at uh, how your content is performing and, and start measuring it visually so you can look at what to do next with it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and hopefully see you soon.